10 square meters of the internal space of this car, perhaps, are able to atone for all its possible shortcomings. However, this did not stop us from testing the strength of the second generation pilot with mileage, reviews of which in the networks are diametrically opposed. In short, the details in the studio. The second generation of the crossover existed on the market from 2008 to 2015, when the third generation car appeared. In the US, the crossover was appreciated and bought well. In our country, Pilot did not create much excitement on the market. Honda in Ukraine, you know, is not a budget brand. Meanwhile, the shortcomings of the crossover lie on the surface. No diesel engine or manual transmission. The line of engines, consisting of the only and far from the most economical unit, makes it impossible to choose. And the quality of interior trim materials at a hefty cost of the car, to put it mildly, is far from premium. Well, the equipment. Few people like the strangely configured configurations, when there is no electric drive for external mirrors and xenon. There is no keyless entry and there is no engine start with a button. Not even the simplest USB. And this is the car in the maximum configuration. In a word, its owners have accumulated a lot of questions for pilot. However, many of them are removed due to the size of the cabin, excellent suspension and good cross-country ability. The pilot has a single petrol 3.5-liter V6 engine with 257 horsepower. 249 forces after restyling in 2011. Belt-type timing drive with a replacement interval of 100,000 kilometers. The motor, though powerful, but with whims. So, it requires adjusting the valve clearance every 45,000 km. But that's okay. Among the surprises, there is often premature wear of the front head camshafts on runs of 100 to 150,000 km. A new shaft will cost about 7,000 Ukrainian hryvni, but the cost of the entire repair is close to 45,000. Expensive. Moreover, after 150,000 km, although this is already a rare, wear of the connecting rod bearings may manifest itself. Mechanics have a plausible version, they say, the cause of the troubles in oil starvation is a constructive miscalculation. Well, the owners add problems, forgetting to monitor the oil level. By the way, with an increase in mileage, the oil burner only grows and sometimes reaches 2 to 3 liters per 8 to 10,000 km. So replacing the rings of 200,000 km is a very real prospect. The engine is paired with a 5-speed automatic, known on the positive side from other Honda models. There are no special claims to him. The only reason for complaints is the possible aftershocks recorded after the mark of 200,000 km. Problems will arise if you do not change the oil or do not fix leaks in time. Liquid can leak at the joints of the transmission fluid cooling tubes or when the tube fitting from the radiator has fallen off due to corrosion of the thread. But this is already quite on the big runs. The suspension is quite comfortable, everyone admits it. Yes, and she delivers problems very moderately. If the front shock absorbers run more than 150,000 km, then the struts will need to be replaced faster. Moreover, the original ones are expensive, so we buy analogs. Silent blocks of the front levers fail strictly individually, how to ride. But by 100,000 km, even neat people change them. But ball bearings will last longer. There are problems with the bodywork. Not critical, but still. There were no complaints about the quality of the interior trim either. By the way, it is often cited as an argument in favor of not acquiring pilot. There is a lot of hard plastic in the cabin, which, of course, begins to creak over time. The upholstery and design of the seats also leave much to be desired. However, such trifles are easily forgiven when it becomes necessary to fold the seats into a flat floor and stuff something voluminous into the car. Here the crossover is out of competition. And if we talk about the electrician in general, then you should not expect serious problems. Yes, and small failures here are quite rare. And it turns out, we are already summing up, that the second generation Honda Pilot with mileage is not an easy purchase. The car is not cheap in itself, and the cost of its maintenance is not sugar. Repairs will be expensive due to the very high prices of original spare parts, which are not always able to find cheaper alternatives. Alas, Pilot is not among the most reliable. But fortunately, all misfortunes are well known and relatively easy to eliminate. Replacing the rear wheel bearings after 100,000 km. The outer CV joints of the front axle shafts can crunch after 150 to 200,000 km. The rear springs are guaranteed to sag after 200,000 km, which will be noticeable on the wheels, which become a house. The steering rack knocks at 60 to 100,000 km. The cart end shaft bearing is worn out after 100,000 km. This is evidenced by noise and vibration. 
replacement complete with cardan, up to 50,000 ua. But you can only replace the bearing for 3500 ua 4000. An oil change in the rear differential is required every 15,000 km. After 100,000 km, oil flows from under the cylinder deactivation unit, which, getting on the generator, disables it. Another problem is the neutralizer. When it breaks down, it delegates ceramic chips to the cylinders, which leads to scuffing in the cylinders. And then the replacement of the engine is inevitable. Owners unanimously admit that the car's paintwork is thin and weak. Many people complain about sweaty taillights. After 60,000 kilometers, the front optics become cloudy. However, this does not happen on all machines. But the chrome from the body lining climbs regularly. Corrosion was noticed on the tailgate, which is why the button that unlocks it fails. Of course, there were no electrical failures. Many complain about weak native batteries that fail already in the second year of service. After 150,000 km, the heater motor may make noise. The problem will be eliminated by 2000 Ukrainian hryvni. Well, a commonplace, leaking headlight washer nozzles. Unpleasant, but easily solved.